Merry Christmas, everyone. We got episode 11 here, a little uh, special Christmas edition. We got together and uh, decided to open gifts and said, hey, why don't we do a little extra uh, Christmas podcast? Hopefully this will come out on Christmas. We're going to mm-hmm. leave it up to Joe we're not, or, or our editor. We're not going to spoil it for you on yeah. Christmas Eve. There you go. <laughs> we don't want to... Uh, no, no, we're not going to... We don't want to ruin your at, Christmas. At 12, we're off the 12 a.m. on Christmas Eve. We'll be off. When we're all supposed to be in midnight mass that no one's going to this year, yeah. unless you reserved. Yeah, I didn't reserve. Uh, Jordan, did you reserve? I have to find out from my mom. I don't oh, know. Okay. She, she's, she's like in that. She's in charge. Right? Yeah. yeah. I got to feel your family, your parents are not good. I, I, I feel like that would be the, a good idea to think that, but then my, uh, the power of love that my mom has for oh, Jesus is Christ strong. Christ. And, uh, Christ and, uh, and so I don't know. She may, she may go out there. Especially uh-huh. if they're like far yeah. away and stuff. Oh, okay. Um, I, this is going to be the first time in 30 years that uh, we've not done Midnight Mass. Yeah, it's going to be um, quite a different change of pace. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe I should get to bed early tomorrow. Yeah, I, nice. it, you literally have not No, I'll get to bed at 10.30, let Santa come down, drop off those nice presents that yeah. I deserve because I've been a book, good boy this year. Chris, <laughs> <laughs> so if you die your beard, baby, you could be Santa Claus. I could. I could. No, he's not. I'm sorry. Chris you used to be able to be big, big old Santa. Well, yeah. he, I mean, you don't got to be a fat. I'd be an athletic Santa Claus. I think, Santa I think hey, Pat Santa's is athletic. Athletic. Santa's got to fit through the, the chimneys. Chris is, Chris is good to go, baby. I'm kicking <laughs> doors down. Let's be honest. I'm kicking doors down. I ain't we, all saw, we all saw Tim Allen. They, it's a little magic. You know? Yeah. Little, I just watched that movie again last night. Oh, yeah. Boy, is the CGI in that so bad. You can oh, try to watch Hope. It's yeah. almost yeah. like it's almost like paper. It's just like uh, like a South Park esque. It's just like one cutout, and they're just like going through the sky. Oh, that's Oh, it's so bad. Dude, I love do love watching old movies like that and mm-hmm. seeing like just from now and, and back then you're just like holy oh, shit yeah. I talked to Peter yesterday about uh, I saw a movie on Sunday oh, night yeah. with Arnold Schwarzenegger called Raw mm-hmm. Deal oh uh, we, we use a stupid uh, where is it, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> the small town sheriff that got booted out of the FBI yeah and then he goes to like, Chicago so right? you see that yes yeah. and the, so best part, the best part is, is he gets to the end of the movie and he's part of the mafia and he's take, he's going to take the mafia down he gets to this quarry he sits there Shoots his windshield up on his convertible car, kicks it out after he shoots it, goes down to his court, and he's literally in his car underneath the windshield that he's kicked out, shooting people. They're like twenty feet in the air. It's the dumbest fucking thing. Is that also the one where his car like got turned like upside down and he like picks it up and over to drive, get back in and drive it? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, these movies are so. Yeah. These movies are great. My favorite, um, I love that. My favorite sort of eighties movie has got to be uh, like bad. My eighties movie is so bad it's good. It's got to be the Running Man. Oh, oh so Running good. Man! Pierre, I, I showed that to Pierre the one time. Pierre's like, "This is the dumbest fucking thing. It's so oh, good." No, oh, he's more like No Zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I love. So I honestly love thinking like looking at movies now compared to the eighties. It was just so much. It was most magical. Oh. Like anything could happen. <laughs> and there was no laws of physics. No nothing. Oh anything no, anything they wanted. Could fucking happen. I, I saw something on uh, three titties. Wait, three titties. That's yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I saw something yeah. on the internet that today where the uh, they showed like the highest grossing movie of 1984. Mm-hmm. And That's like, such they, a they had, they had Ghostbusters in there. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, oh no, no. But Ghostbusters was a movie that was yes. released in '84. Mm-hmm. Terminator was released in '84. Oh. Gremlins. Yeah. Um, there was something. There's a couple other ones Back that came. No, not Back to the no. Future. Karate Kid was released that year. The highest grossing movie of the year. Beverly Hills Cop with Danny Murphy. That's a great yeah. movie. Yeah, great movie. I just I couldn't believe it. You know, you know, you know it was hot in the mid eighties though. Dan, yeah, I watched Dan Aykroyd yeah. was the highest grossing actor in nineteen eighty four because of Ghostbusters. That's oh really? Because he, he wrote, wrote yeah. he wrote and did yes. it. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah. I was watching. I, I watched uh, a couple nights ago. I watched on Netflix the. It's almost like the how it's made for movies and and uh, toys of but like the Netflix version and they talked about Ghostbusters how that was made all the stuff that went on there. But they talked about Die Hard getting made. Yeah, yeah. based off a book. Course, yeah. Based off a book, didn't know that wasn't anything like the book. No, it wasn't anything <laughs> like the book either. And then the um, going off a book, then yeah. Well, just basically, basically the the, 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 the idea was premise. that it was, a, it was a tower, yeah. and it was a man like stuck in the tower. Yeah, stuck in the tower. Okay. And the BIA, the, motherfucker. Yeah. So they talked about how that it was movie, a story of Peter McGraw's life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's again another collapse. Can we keep going? 
Um, but they just talked about how in that movie that was a, a huge turning point, even though you don't think about it compared to movies today. That you know your main uh, hero would get hurt, and they talked about how him getting glass in his feet, and he was picking glass out, and how he was like not this like super bulky action hero that was, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone or all these other enormous dudes of that time. And it's like, this is still like the epitome of an action movie. Like he gets damaged so much. Well, that was the first that was the first one like that. But, yes. And it, the best one it, it even got it even got like it even got Academy Award like recognition. Oh really? Which is crazy. Also, also the villain in there was a bit of a difference. Like the villain was like, you know, he's like that a was smarter, his first movie. But like but there's like a smarter guy and it's not like mm-hmm. the same like just you know, Why are we forgetting about Carlo Winslow as a cop? Like, oh he was talking about, about the fact that it's the fucking nerd guy that breaks into the vault. I don't think it's Carlo Winslow, right? Yeah. 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 Carl, Carl Winslow. Winslow, yeah he plays he's the cop. Yeah, Carl's then he right. plays and, and then he was in um The Gun Predator. He was uh, in Rocky. Crocodile Dundee. Yes. No, he was Carl Winslow was the driver of the limousine, and he takes the the air aerial off the back of the limousine, and he throws it, and he gets the guy who's like robbing him in the alley. Do you remember That's that? Awesome. I have yeah. not seen Crocodile yeah, Dundee. Yeah, I don't. And uh, have you seen? You ever seen the Airheads? Yes. Yeah. Are you okay. Oh, with Brendan Fraser, so, Adam so, Sandler. So, 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 so the, 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 no, that building, thing, that, uh, the, the building that they use, not, uh, video, go, that building they use is the same building of Die Hard. It's a it's a Fox building. It's like a Fox. Oh, building. it's like, like their production yeah. offices. Yeah. 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 I love their heads. They were such a good movie. Adam Sandler looks so young. He is young. Got Steve, what, Steve Buscemi, yep. Brandon yep. Fraser, yeah, Adam Sandler. Yeah, that was another one. Chris Farley is in a little bit. Yeah, was uh, it really? Yeah, Dan Aykroyd was the, the, the one that. Super, look at that. I think Ghostbusters he wrote it or uh, something, or created it on the SNL. The one oh, okay. Okay. So, so the yeah, a lot of the a lot of the good yeah. '80s movies were based oh, off Eddie Hudson. Yes, or Ernie Hudson. <laughs> uh, a lot of the good '80s movies were based off SNL. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wasn't the main like negotiator cop that was in uh, Airheads? Wasn't he the like Doctor Cox from uh, Scrubs? Oh, the same guy that was in Office Space. Oh, yes. yes. John McGinty, yeah. Yes. You know what I keep thinking he it was? I thought it was the, the guy who was from Coneheads, the main FBI guy, but it wasn't. I'm no, sure. the I'm main sure. FBI guy was uh, that was in Coneheads was the guy that ran, or was the the, jar, or the guy who ran the radio station for uh, in Airheads. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. Yes, he was. And it had Cosmo Kramer, the guy up in the fucking yes. bus. There yes. you go. And, and he was also, if, I don't know, but Better Call Saul, he's... Uh, Saul Goodman's brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What else is he in? He's been in a lot of stuff. Yeah. Fun stuff, fun stuff. All right, well, we're, we're only doing it. We're not doing any whiskey tonight. We're keeping it light so no one dies tomorrow or, or Christmas. And sa- Sunday after last Saturday was hellish. <laughs> so uh, I'm okay just drinking, you know, moderately for what we drink. Um, Pat, what, what, what kind of growl we got tonight, bud? <clears throat> this is the, uh, it's from Metropolitan Brewing. It is the, uh, Generator Doppelbach, is what it's called. Mm-hmm. It's a, uh, it's a little heavier, darker beer. I don't feel it's sad. It's pretty that. tasty. It's I mean, I can give you the full description if you, you like. Give me all the details. You want to hear what, we yeah. We want to hear the description. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Taste the beer. Let's make this into a game. Let's take a sip. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. And let's, let's put out, I'll let's put this. out, I'll even write it down. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it because I read the description. Yeah, you're out, you're out. You don't count. Fuck you, Pat. That was uncalled for. Let him know, Joe. Let him know. I, I know. I just meant in this competition, not like in regards well, to not, anything. Not everything that you have yeah, to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, not yeah, at all. No, 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 no. It's no. <laughs> uncalled for. All right, here we go. Chris. Trying to support Pete? a local brewery that's got heart issues. Thank you for the beer, <laughs> Peter. What What do you? Let's go with smell. What do you smell? Okay, let's go. It smells like beer. Let's go smell. <laughs> mm, it's very hoppy. I'm gonna assume there is, Bob. Hop in it. <coughs> I'm surprised. Hop, it's, hop, it's, hop, it's, hop, hop, okay. I'm proud dark is. I'm surprised how light it tastes actually. Um, I would go with dirty the pool with your <laughs> aforementioned <laughs> knowledge. I would go with caramel. caramel. Caramel, caramel, definitely a caramel hint. Maybe Dash. a little chocolate. Hint. Chocolate, chocolate. Let me just give myself a here. All right. I also have another six pack of their beer in my house. So we can try for Saturday. Um, I'm, I think that's all I'm gonna go with, Chris. Okay. But you know what I'm sorry, put put barley. Barley? Dried yeah. dried barley. Dried barley. Dried 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 definitely dried barley. 
I'm also going to go with the barley and hops routine on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'd also like to say it tastes like beer. <laughs> I don't know if that counts, but I, I want to go with taste like it's beer. Gonna, it's got a strong beer taste. Yeah, it's strong taste. I'm going to go with uh, caramel. Uh, co- I get a little bit of coffee Ooh, and a little coffee. bit of uh, vanilla in there. Ooh, vanilla. Interesting. All right, Joseph. What are you tasting over there, bud? All right. That's I mean, I'm also awesome. almost done with my glass. So. Oh, don't worry. We got a little left. I got the champagne of beers in front of me, though. Brian, I have, I have yeah. no smell. No smell. Okay, it's, it's, like, it's a beer. Head. It's a beer smell. Joy's it's a head. beer smell. I, I it's got a beer smell. taste. Yeah. yeah, I don't smell anything. That's you know, he's, he's got COVID. I mean, Metropolitans are all, all, all variations of German beer. They're all German beer variations. They don't do anything besides that. Okay. All right. Yeah, Pam just knows everything about this place. Well, I mean, you, you couldn't help them out on their freaking lease problem, though. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm trying the contract. I'm trying, baby. I'm trying. Yeah, Lynch wasn't there the I'm contract. gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna try and di- uh, diverge from the north. I'm gonna go nut. Nuts. nuts. Some nut. Some hot, salty nuts in there. There's a little, some, a little there's, spicy. There's, there's a little, a little nut. Weird. Tastes weird. There's some orange. <laughs> there's some orange peel. There's, there's some. Weird. There's some nut in my drink. I'm gonna go with cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still don't know that. I still don't get that cake one. <laughs> But I've seen that a lot on the whiskey. If, if, sorry, if, that, if that company pings you, Chris, please ask them what kind of cake it is. It's yeah. fun. It doesn't taste in here. We, had, we did have another so one. Is it red velvet? Is it, is it a chocolate cake? I apologize. Cake? I forget the name of the this, this second uh, distillery that reached out to us. And, and I said, saw it. It's probably the Indian yeah. one. No, it wasn't. It was not. I'm hoping it was that one was not good. Last weekend that we're all over. I would, <laughs> yeah. My favorite was it. My favorite is what I not My favorite was I knew Peter had to do a shot really quickly with a one, and I knew he was going to hate it. And when I relived it, when I listened to the podcast again, it was just as good as the first <laughs> time to, to hear him gag. Oh, yeah. yeah. Every time Pat going through a fucking jam at you, I almost pissed myself. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> All right. I'm going to say nut, caramel, and toffee. Oh, okay. Or Those taffy. Are toffee. Or toffee. Toffee. They don't get they don't super into the detail in the descriptions of the record. but Okay. So we did so this the, for nothing. Yeah, pretty much. The, uh, the generator Doppelback. This beer is all about the malt. So a lot of malt uh, in the Malt. Uh, okay. Fuck. Dark. Munich malt, rich in melodonins, which is brewers speak for flavor. That's what they say. Rich in flavor. Okay. <laughs> Provides so a monstrous Hey, I'll tell you what, flavor. guys. In this list, I'm it's seeing a- lots of flavors. So they, mission accomplished. No, Provide, no, mission, no, sorry, sorry. Provides a monstrous backbone for this deceptively easy beer. A light balance of Horizon, Sterling, and Centenium hops is there for to support the talent. There's your hops. Hard enough to provide a monk's Lenten substance. Robust enough to feed a Midwestern grit, bold enough to kick a sex squash on the junk. <laughs> That's legit. Okay, so nuts. I nuts. heard nuts on that one. We got one. We got, 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 got malt. We got hop. We got we nuts. got nuts. It's not bad. I mean, I wouldn't want a lot of these, but it's for one. No, time. no, this is. I, you know what I was thinking when he said it's easy to drink. Happy malty nuts. It's not nuts. something you want to be drinking all night, but it's you know for one or two, it's good. Mm-hmm. So I like to hear. Um, thank you, Pat, for bringing it. I, I definitely, you. I definitely like. Looks it. like Coke. It does. If bit, you yeah. like in the it's glass, lighter, it, just, yeah, it looks lighter. like Coke without the bubbles. It's a touch lighter, but yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. Do you know where uh, DePaul ended up today at all? No, oh, let me take a look. Wow. Yeah, we're up uh, nine points. We're not last up. The Bulls are getting their ass kicked right now. Sheffield and um, yeah, Fullerton. Yeah. Yep. Good old DePaul University. I wonder if they're okay, those run parallel. I believe. What is the other street? Sheffield and... It's, uh, I'm thinking of the one by... Uh, the ball is up. No, it's, 44, it's, uh, 25 and a half. I'm Western Illinois. What's the... It's, it's Fullerton and... There used to be a wall. No, they're, they're, they're like on... Or a jewel. Now it's like uh, Whole Foods. What's the... What's the oh, yeah, they're right. Sheffield in between... Oh, Sheffield, yeah. Yeah, they're in between Fullerton right. and Western. Uh, yeah, you're Sheffield. right. I'm thinking Webster. Webster's the one I was thinking is parallel. My bad. Oh, okay. So they might... Well, if the Paul keeps fucking hitting, but they're they playing, might, but they're playing the south. They might hit the over. They're not going to hit the over or under, yeah. I don't think. But they're going to hit the uh, the spread of fifteen spread and a half. Right. But they're playing in the in the south loop, anyways. Right? I, I don't know if they are. I think they may be playing on campus. I'm not hundred percent sure. Yeah, why would, play, why, why would you play? Why would you play? Yeah, uh, why? There's no reason for you to play there when you got no fans. You built this giant fucking arena. I mean, there's no fans anyways. You might as well go play the goddamn game. That's true too. <laughs> but what, it probably costs. Well, I mean, the Paul. Yeah, it's probably means yeah. nothing to anybody else. Yeah, there, but, but it's, it's just a uh, Paul uh, gambling, our uh, gambling addiction within the Paul. The Pauls used to play in no in front of no fans. Yeah, I mean, literally, it's what's the difference? They they, like, they should be well prepared for this COVID basketball. I tell yeah, you what. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what do you guys got planned for? That's the fan. I know, Joe. So, Pat, do you guys do anything on? 
No. 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 Then what do you got? What do you got planned for Christmas? What's kind of like the, the uh, date? Well, the, we're just, the, this year, we, me, Joe, and I, I usually have like a, I think yeah. I usually have okay. but, but, uh, just COVID this scary. year is just my, my mm-hmm. parents' house. That's it. Okay. What do you got? You guys get doing a type of dinner? Or you guys? Yeah, it's dinner. What, what, anything special? No. Usual stuff. It's the usual stuff. I think they're making beef and ham, Joe. So same stuff as always. Oh, that's nice. What, 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 what's a Pat, what's a Margaret Lynch put appetizer wise? Uh, well, in our family, it's always going to usually be a shrimp cocktail. I have no idea what's going to be uh, this time. Are you a Are you a fan? I love shrimp. Cocktail. A little bit, yeah. Oh, oh dude, I fucking. Trey's a big fan of shrimp. When I was a kid, I used to love Women the love smell. Shrimp. I used it's to love the thing. smell of the cocktail sauce so much that I was like, I'm going to eat this till it tastes good, and that's exactly what I did. I like cocktails. It smelled. It smelled so good. I smelled shrimp. It okay. smelled so good. The shrimp I don't get a smell, but that cocktail sauce. I love. Oil. Man, it is Dude, so love, good. We get a so little bit of horseradish in the butcher block with the fish and the shrimp. And That's, That's kind of how I feel about bread. I I still love bread, but like when I smell it, I'm like, I don't need it. I, fuck off. I, uh, I, it well, just kind of turns me off. I mean, we worked at it. I mean, well, that's but yeah, but that's yeah. But um, you worked at it more full time, but uh. I want when we go to Indianapolis to see John in the Indy 500, we're gonna go to St. Elmo's and they're supposed to have one of the best shrimp cocktails and shrimp cocktail sauces like in the world. Like it's impossible to get in there. Really? Why? I wonder if they're they're just it's their cocktail sauce. Like the shrimp are no different. Oh, I was gonna say okay, their cocktail so sauce is supposed to be something really good. Well, you can buy their steak seasoning in Mariano's. I've oh, seen it before. St. Elmo's, yeah. really nice. So. So okay, so I mean, can you buy their yeah, cocktail so sauce? And then, and or is that only no, at the restaurant? That, no, it's only at the restaurant. Oh, the restaurant. you get beef too, Pat? I'm a little jealous. What's what's it? What, what are the sides on? Uh, I have no idea what I was making. Yeah, potatoes. Yeah. Potatoes, <laughs> price, we can't potatoes is a guarantee. <laughs> okay. Yeah, are you, so then you like do you like? Are you gonna just crash there? Or are you gonna go no. there early or <laughs> just go there early? We might. Well, they have to pick me up. I have a car. I love the car. Oh, oh so okay. So why won't you have a car? Katrina's going to visit her grandma. Wait, is she staying home now? Did Katrina leave her? No, she, she's she's gonna leave tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. Let's come back Saturday. Very cool, uh, Joe. I know that tomorrow's kind of your day, right? Yeah. So t- it, it's like a. It used to be. Joe's, Pre-COVID, Joe's, Joe's it was all day, baby. <coughs> it was. Uh, he's got a weekend. He's probably tired at oh, this point. Yeah. He needed a break. Yeah. Yeah. My, my, elbow, my elbow, my elbow's so sore. He's got a tennis elbow. You can't look off his couch. I'll tell you what, boys. Yeah. Um. We can't go into this conversation again. I, it was so awkward when I was hosting the first 15 minutes. I'm like, how is anybody in my family going to listen to this podcast? I was so quiet during that. Discussing. I was like, I'm not going to. They shouldn't be. Hey, oh, it's great. It was fantastic. Oh, no. I Honestly, I don't. Like, yeah. listen, we're open books. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Um, and that was so, all joking anyway. So after copious amounts on, of right-hand philandering, I will uh, <laughs> plan to go to Midnight Mass and uh, no, I'm <laughs> Um, to confess <laughs> my sins, baby. Confess my sins. You know, first I'll go to confession, and then uh, no. So uh, usually we it would, we would do like a a very light dinner, go to midnight mass, and then we would exchange gifts. Um, and then is that because you guys like were mo- mostly host Christmas like dinner with your no? Our, our, our aunt usually does. Oh, our okay. aunt always did the yeah. So but I mean, just like, kind of like an why, immediate family. But I mean, is that kind of why you wouldn't do like stuff on Christmas? Because like you're upset, you would hang out with the extended family on like Christmas Day. Yeah, yeah. It was just kind of the yeah. thing. I don't. I think you you want to know where it all came from. I think we were just so impatient about presents, we wanted to get them like as quickly as possible. So if we went to midnight mass, the next day was Christmas. So We'd go out, we'd come back, all the presents were there. So you guys are great. Me and Peter, like when we were kids, you kind of were impatient. Me and Peter is older. We don't, we don't give a shit. So we push it off until like seven, eight o'clock at night. So, so and then also yeah. the other thing yeah. is, is because me and Peter are dumbasses and don't wrap our yeah. presents until the 25th. So like from two until mm-hmm. six o'clock, me and Peter are in our room having though. presents. I was so proud of myself on the rap jobs I did. Dude, I was, yeah, it was awesome. I, I took my time. Yes. I was like, you know what? I don't want to come here with this some shaggy nicely, ass. Nicely, nicely. You forced me to wrap my own. Uh, You're, yeah, you did a really nice job, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'm also like, I, I can't draw a circle. It's not I can't a bitch. I was not happy about it. If I had, if I had wrapping paper, I'm an, I'm a, an absolutely phenomenal rapper. But I ran out of wrapping paper. Oh, I got back her Chris, my, I my parents have, uh, and my mom. And my mom and I'm a very big yeah. uh, proponent of the putting in the bag and just throwing some tissue paper. That's what I ended up doing. Yeah, for Pat and Chris. I was, I was like, listen. No, for everybody. I do it for everybody. If I okay, wait. So, now, okay. When I was growing up, and people would tell me they would do things, should I Christmas Eve? <laughs> well, the gifts that me and Chris got on, on Christmas Day 
were a lot of video games and stuff like that, we wouldn't go to bed for the next next like yeah. two days. I, we used to go to like, okay. we used to go to my grandmother's house. How the hell would you do anything? Like I, I never got getting gifts on Christmas Eve and then be like, hey kids, go to bed. What? You just gave me the fucking the gifts of the year. I would get to own. I would. When I was a kid. We, we was going to Christmas Eve my grandma's house in Buffalo Grove, and then we'd come back. And I'd get to open one present, and it was always a video game. So I'd be up all fucking night playing the video. Yeah, game. <laughs> that that would be that would be the case for me. And then we, I, you know, you were on Christmas break at that point, so you'd play the game till you're tired. When you're younger, that's going to be a lot earlier. Um, mm, not really. <laughs> I would guess. I don't know. I mean, no, I, I remember. Just... I remember coming home for Christmas Eve specifically, not to cut you mm-hmm. off for the ninetieth time on this podcast. Um, I would. I'd come home and like, like we'd all go to bed. Mm-hmm. We'd you know put out cookies, all that shenanigans. You go to bed. I remember waiting. Like I, I never. I've never been a person who has had any, ever had any trouble sleeping. <clears throat> but Christmas Eve, I would always. Be like, come on, come on, come on. The quicker we go to bed, the faster we get up. You don't worry about Santa Claus not taking the rest of your gifts, Peter. Don't worry about that. No, I, I was just waiting. I that was one gift. That's all I wanted. No, no, no. Uh, me and Chris were also the worst. We would, my parents. Oh, we knew that. We knew all the high spots. So oh, I, I ended up. And we were like precision, like surgeons. We cut the tape, take a little peeky, <laughs> and then fucking put the tape. Just get away, huh? Just get away. Mom always knew. I, 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 was, I never looked for a present as a kid. I I was the I was earlier in in the process. I would find the presents before they were wrapped. Oh, that's so so I remember, I remember being a, a very the, the one of the one of the one of the worst situations that I created was um, when Power Rangers were like the hot thing. I wanted a Megazord, and it was impossible to find. I guess at the time, you know, I was a kid, I didn't know. Yeah, but my well, mom went some like secondhand market, probably some flea market, went yeah. to go buy it, found it. I told my dad, I said, "Hey." My mom is out shopping. I said, hey, mom wanted to get that box down for something that she's going to get Christmas, like, decorations for or something like that. Dad, completely unknowing, brings the box down. I open it up. It's the Megazord, and I just, like, audibly hear my dad go, ah, fuck, I'm in trouble. <laughs> and, like, and, and so I go, oh, my God, it's the Megazord. This is awesome. Yeah, he's like, oh, you probably weren't supposed to find that. Ah, uh, I go, can I play with it? He goes, fuck, you know it's there, so I guess you might as well. My mom comes home, and uh, he's, like, oh. waiting by the garage, and he's like, I, This hurts me so much. I, I fucked up. Yeah. I fucked up. I, I, he, he got the Maggie's word. My mom's like, what? He goes, he goes, yeah, he's playing with it inside you. You want to play with it? <laughs> I thought, you know, he found it, so he might as well have it. And he goes, just this whole thing. Oh, no. so, and my dad was completely oblivious, just so innocent, just doing something that I mentioned that my mom, I just couldn't get it. I was too the young. La- the last time we found gifts, real quick, Pat, the last time we found gifts, and, my, and I heard it in my mom's voice that, like, because they were, they, like, having kids and, and doing that, like, their biggest, one of the biggest rewards is, because we're all just pains in the asses, mm-hmm. is that day on Christmas they get to see you open gifts. Mm-hmm. And, when you do ruin it like that, it, like I remember that day and never opening, never we never just never did it again. Like, uh-huh. like because we like she knew we knew and it was like fuck, mm-hmm. all right, we don't want to do that. So we never, I never, and then, and then like it was even better when it was a surprise. So but mm-hmm. as a kid, it just yeah. I just remember, I remember, I remember being a kid with Joe, and that like Joe would always like our aunts would always ask us like write down what we wanted for, for Christmas for them, and Joe would always write the most like intricate, complicated thing for them to find. <laughs> Because <laughs> they used to ask, they used to call my mom to ask me where would you get find Joe's gift. <laughs> I knew what I wanted, and I put I put out the most wanted. Yeah. My favorite thing is like my mom or my mom does stocking stuffers, and she'll like do it throughout like so she'll do it like every other day throughout the month of December. Mm. So like we haven't gone looking. Me and Pierre haven't gone looking for presents probably since we were like eleven, maybe twelve years old, mm-hmm. and. All of a sudden, like, like a week ago, I'm in the kitchen. I'm brushing my teeth. And I go to the drawer to grab a towel, so because like I get you brush fucky. In the kitchen. Yeah, it's weird. Well, I don't no, like, great. He loses his toothbrush and, and toothpaste in the kitchen. kitchen. Well, and then he goes to the bathroom. To brush yeah. His teeth. And so like I went to the kitchen to grab a towel to put, it, to put my toothbrush away, and like toothpaste gets in my beard, like jackass. So I go and wipe it down. I get so it. So I open up the hand. towel drawer, pull out a pull out a towel. And what comes out with it? Mine and Pierre's stocking stuffer of little individual pants of freaking trail mix. So, like, the next day, my mom's is at home. This and this year? Yeah, this is here. Why the 
fuck did you ruin it? <laughs> I didn't ruin it. I literally grabbed it and it just popped it up. Me. Well, that sucks for you. <laughs> but I yelled at Margaret about it. I'm like, Margaret, you can't put stuff in the freaking goddamn drawer that everybody goes into. Because if somebody goes in there and grabs it, it's I mean, just going to pop up. I mean, and then trailer, I lose out. It's trailer. It's trailer. Here's the thing, though. But me and Pierre will lose out on the trail mix if somebody else found the trail No, but there's something pleasant about no, here's just the thing. that surprise. Yeah, we're such, it. like, honestly, I'm, I'm, we're such still adolescents that, like, mm-hmm. my mom, my mom does, like, she'll, she'll do, like, Secret Santa's, like, like, little, like, once in a while, she'll throw something in your, your stocking for you. Just, like, mm-hmm. it's like a, hey, happy holidays. Like, it's so nice. Like, even to pretend, like, not that we're, like, we don't pretend like Santa or whatever, but I mean, saying, like, my mom still does a lot of that stuff. Like, dress up yeah. Santa Claus still. <laughs> no, she doesn't. It's just a lot of fun. And it makes it funner. You know, yeah. like, she went shopping. Like, I was helping with the, I yelled at her that day, or the next day I saw her. I'm like, hey, you can't hide this stuff. Like, just joking around with her. I'm like, but like, I'm helping her with the groceries, so I'm taking stuff out of the bags, kind of handing it to her, asking her where it kind of goes. Mm-hmm. So, going to one bag, I pull out all this stuff, and it's like candy for like Megan or my sister mm-hmm. and Patrick. And like, I'm like, what the hell is this? I'm like, I can't see this. I go into another bag, pull out like a bunch of like Slim Jims and freaking Cliff Bars. I'm like, oh, that's for me and Pierre. Great. I didn't see that. <laughs> like, come on. Here, hold on. So this, this podcast will come You didn't have to go through the bags before I freaking even see this. Did you have your mom get the vaccination? Uh, she got the first part of it. She's it's, a, uh, it's a two part. Yeah, well, yeah, what the is, the, what is the window between like two weeks? Two weeks, yeah. Two weeks for, for the vaccine. No, the second no, part no, of the vaccine. So she's got the first part. She's waiting on the second part. And then, and then, yeah, they real s- careful. Like I, we're not gonna get into it. But Does she have any side effects though? No, sure. but um, do they say to be careful? Like yeah, after you side, get it, like if you have if you have bad allergies. Oh, I've heard. You yeah. gotta read, like really <laughs> read into it because like as as soon as they've rushed this, and it is some of those things can be pretty. It, yeah, I don't know. I just my mom. My mom was nervous. Oh, she's okay. So she's okay. Yeah, she's okay. Oh, no, yeah, she's fine. She's so far, at least. And then they, the best part is, well, here, I don't want to get too yeah. political, but the fucking, like, just looking at like the world lately in U.S. politics, it's cartoony, dude. It, it's pissing me the fuck off. It's it really so is. cartoony. We get a whole summer podcast. It is the best. It is the track. best. I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's I mean, the best. So they finally get the stimulus done. Then Trump's like, nah, not enough, not enough. Um, which which goes against his party? Who out of the two? Which goes against his party? But okay, this is me asking a question now because I I tend to avoid a lot of this now, and and a lot of this is probably some answers and personal it. opinion. Um, but I I from what I read, the reason he said he said that two thousand dollar thing was because Mitch McConnell admitted. Uh, this is this is what I don't know. Maybe this is not true. This is yeah, yeah, no, maybe no, this no, is no, just no, like yeah. internet yeah. gossip. But the reason he's doing this whole two thousand dollars stimulus thing now is because Mitch McConnell admitted that Trump lost, and so now he's like, "All right, cool, fuck everyone." Yes, yeah, yeah. and and so he just no, like, hey, we should everybody. make it two thousand. No, he Here's these pardon yes. people that are, you know. No, no, but that's what it is. It honestly, one hundred percent is is he can right now he can he can make it as much like he can say whatever the fuck he wants, and he knows it'll fuck. The Republicans over because he he says two thousand. Pelosi and AOC came out immediately and said, "Oh my God, yes, come on, come on, come on, we want to spend more money." So we already money. drafted the bill. Yeah, I, I think well, I the amendment. To uh, the there's bill. two things. I think that I think it's that yes, that he he's pissed off at the, his own party. And I think it's two that he uh, wants to um, <clears throat> you know he wants to you want he still he still has this faint hope that he's going to be somehow president come January, and this will give, somehow garner him support. You mean the middle of January. Whatever, yeah. Yeah, I get what you're saying. It's a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah, makes him look like a good yeah, guy. Yeah, makes him look like a good guy. Oh, I want to get you guys more money. You yeah. deserve more money, yeah. I have, guys, I have a good. second question. Guys, this, <laughs> this guy, um, because of this, does this now possibly slow down that bill from being Here's passed. what's interesting about that. I he read had to sign it today or the government. No, it's interesting though. No, 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 no. We he has until it. December 28th but, to but sign the bill what, or there's but here's, no what, here's, what, here's what I read. That they, is, and the government shuts down. I'm not sure. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how quite accurate this is, but I read today because he said that he wants two, two grand. Everybody gets two grand if you got the qualifications or whatever. Yeah. That there's this thing called unanimous consent that the, the, the Democrats are going to push through it basically means that unless somebody protested on the Republican side, that it just goes through. Well, I'm sure somebody will. This is what the idea is. But the other thing is, I know. Because, no, because the people that don't want the $600, well, they're the not going to go with that. Like, they can, they can, what is it? He cannot sign it 
Right. And then Congress can override him and still pass a six hundred dollar bill. Yes. Well, he, he also he also vetoed no, it. Yeah, they'll veto it. No, this, that's what they're saying. He, he also vetoed veto today the, the defense bill that was a bipartisan bill that has that had enough votes mm-hmm. when it first passed to override his veto. But they don't think now that it's going to have enough votes to override his veto because people will not go against him. Yeah. So and that's the same thing that have, that could happen with the stimulus. Here, yeah. I'm, really quickly, <clears throat> here's what it. And I, I just want to go back to. The stimulus, really quick. The, this whole stimulus thing, what, what also pisses me off about it is it's 500, 5,500 pages. And everybody has said nobody's read it fully through. Oh, good. Well, that's, what, that's, what I'm, yeah, that's what I'm, that's yeah. what I'm, that's what my question is. dollars for like airlines and transportation? <clears throat> that's what my question leads into is I know he gave that whole spiel in his speech about, you know, so much money going to here, so much money going to there. But when this, when this document came out and was originally published, it was, you, like you said, a five thousand uh, five thousand page document. They had, I think, like a day or two to review this whole thing, which Ridiculous. all their you know staff and people underneath these individuals researched this, you yeah. know, in in vomit inducing amounts, and and um, they were talking about things. There's a, there was a law in there regarding <laughs> as trivial as it is memes. And it's a whole copyright issue. They're talking yeah. about this live stream uh, part of the bill that's going through. Oh, I know. it's That yes. may even make it illegal for some people to do what they're doing on Twitch. And it all goes – it all comes down to the fact that there's people on both sides of the, 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 the aisle saying, I'm going to pass this or I'll, you'll get my vote if you put in this thing to this bill, which yeah. is like a huge thing that I've only recently learned about in the last year is that there's a, all these backdoor dealings to get, oh, you want, you want this oh, thing to. It does yeah. happen for years and years I, and years. I didn't know about this. Here, here's the thing. So, so with all that, the longer, so this bill has been going on since before the election. So oh, yeah. the, the longer you sparse this out, I was talking to a, a guy who his life is politics. He works um, trying to get, he's almost a lobbyist, but he's not. But the longer those bills hold out, so this started in November, every single day, week, month that it goes on, you have to build more into it. And the Republicans got it under a trillion dollars. And they were like, this is probably the best we're going to be able to do. And then Trump comes out and says, no, I want $2,000 a person. Which that just expensive, but I mean, like, it happens all the time with it. Like, there's like all these things, like, they, they, yeah. like, like well, there's, there's, there's something about a race track. There's, there's, there's a credit for race tracks in there, and it's like that came out, yeah, I several think, years ago. There's I mean, research several, for several, fallen trees. I mean, several years ago, one of the like, one of the during the, the 08 stuff, they had like things that were in there, like mm-hmm. for, for all kind of other shit too, like to get that passed. And and and, and this just bring this back to a little bit more home. The Illinois when we sold the parking meters, no one read that bill. That bill was dog shit. And they asked him, like, did you read it? No, I didn't read it. In Chicago, so. I'm sorry, yes. In Chicago. But bring it yeah. more home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, Okay, but, let's get off the... This, this really... I Literally, I could get onto a rant about this, but you know what rant I want to get on? Mm-hmm. is the fucking Washington Redskins and the Seattle Seahawks and those motherfuckers... Peter, they are now called the Washington football team, sir. Oh, okay, a shit. <laughs> Actually, Redskins... Who are Redskins here? No, fuck that. Haskin goes out and strips it up. Joe. He goes out and gets some fucking strippers. And parties Saturday before. This can can Seattle come out and that's put that how, ass? That's how you know they're that's how you know Dwayne Haskins the winner. He parties with the strippers beforehand. And still does and, co- and covers. And covers. He covered a third quarter bullshit touchdown that didn't mean anything. Fuck did that piss me off. I I I nah. I, I mean Seattle Seattle. I mean, Cincinnati really screwed us anyways on Monday, so we would have been fine either way. Yeah, but we could have at least gone into Monday night for, like, I mean, like, we've gotten, like, four out of, like, five, pretty much. Yes, we tried, Chris, but, you know, the fifth one's a hard one, maybe. Fifth one's a challenge, Chris. Well, wait, wait, whoa! And we're all forgetting the most important part of last week, then. The Joe C. Lock of the Century of the Week. My just, man. I did it, baby! <laughs> yeah. As long as he doesn't pick three games in a week, he's good. He's yeah. good. Yeah, he's, good. <laughs> he's good for one. He just got You know what? If you think about it, he picked four, he's four or five. Like, yeah, he's, I, also four believe, five. I also believe Dallas covered that game, so he would have been good either way. What do you mean? I'm sorry. He, he, Joe picked some straight up. 
win loss. Yeah, but I believe that Dallas. No, Dallas, Dallas was, was the favorite. No, Dallas was the favorite. So, oh, I'm I'm sorry. So you were right. No, net, minus three. Yeah, yeah. So if you would have, yeah. Either, either way, either way, you would have. Either way, yeah. you've been good with. with I Jones, that, with I the joke either. Yeah. Of the century uh, of the week of the week. I picked. Uh, I actually bet that game, and, and actually I bet all our games that we we bet out because I feel bad if we don't do that. You've been pretty so Cincinnati one, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. No, I did. I did bet. I did bet. There was one game that fucked me and Peter this last week in Pickums, but we won a bet on it, and that was the under in the Jets Rams game. Oh yeah, yeah, that was close. How the fuck do the Jets Dude, lose remember, the game? The one, or the Rams lose the game, one week we choose the Titans to cover the over. Oh, and they could do it. And yeah. then they go against Detroit. And, and they, they, they come out themselves. themselves. They, yeah, they, they covered it themselves. They blew the they 40, like 46 <laughs> points. And I think the, I think the overall number was like 44. The fucking oh, jet offs. Absolutely fucking insane. But you know what? You know what I've been really thinking about is we're getting close to you know, the end of football. It makes me sad. I can't believe college like bulls already happening. What do, what we gotta we gotta find we gotta find that niche. And we're gonna find that niche. When DePaul finally starts playing, we're gonna do. We're gonna do. We're, we're gonna do a third level tennis in Yugoslavia. No, we're gonna play. We're gonna do cricket. We're, we're gonna, gonna start. We're gonna start gambling on soccer. We're gonna get into the. We're gonna call James. We're gonna call James Belichick. No, we're gonna call Dave Collis. James Belichick. We're gonna call James Belichick. Is it are anybody? Joe, mm-hmm. you at all? Do you ever watch soccer? I do. Yeah, I actually okay. like soccer a lot. I mean, oh, I don't. I don't watch. I mean, I, mean, I, can, I can consult Dave Collis and get the Dave Collis pick of the week for soccer. If you're but I definitely read articles and keep up on certain teams. I've never. I've 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 tried to watch it. How does gambling work at soccer if it's a fucking tie? Like. Do you, you bet for a tie? Do you bet for a tie? You probably bet for a tie. Probably, I guess. It's yeah. a stupid sport. It's, it's probably it's, it's more common, probably. I guess, I guess it's the most popular sport in the world. I understand that. Yes, it's you probably it's should probably say it's but not trying to grow the podcast. I just don't like it. I just don't like just it. There's nothing, just, yeah, there's nothing wrong with not liking Joe's it. Joe's like half the sports we watch anyways. It's fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Joe probably hates baseball. I guarantee Joe hates baseball. No, it's, well, no, I have experience to go. If you don't, like, if you don't, if you to watch baseball on TV, you yeah, gotta like baseball. Yeah, you really gotta like. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Nobody's watching. Who's watching? Like, yeah, there used to be. I when in high school when I, I, I like my first girlfriend, her mother yeah. had a friend, like she kind of like adopted the guy and like, but and he moved on whatever. But he would come over every Cubs game and they would watch nine innings together. I would watch the Cubs nine. Games. Idiots. Yes, if you're not drinking by yourself, yes, yeah, so it's a lot. Yeah, it's, I would yeah. watch for for a Cubs, for a Cubs game. I honestly, I watch if it's. I'll, I'll check in like six inning. If it's a close game, then I'll turn on. Okay. I'll, if it's a if it's a game that's worth like watching or something, I'll I'll look at Google. And Let me check yeah, the score. Too, right? I also check have the score. Go watch like ESPN or something for stuff like that. But that's it. Like even the NBA too. Like I only watched fourth, like the third and fourth quarter, like halfway through the third quarter. Now being there live, that's a completely different, oh, different, 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 yeah. completely different. It's got like, ho- like Chris loves hockey. Chris, Chris could watch. Hockey. I don't watch hockey. Uh, any I think hockey, hockey and soccer are so much alike. I would agree, Chris. Plus, plus, I would agree, Chris. Plus, plus, hockey, they though. both play. Playoff hockey is by far the best. Any type of sporting thing playoff you hockey, watch. NFL hockey, the only two teams I can watch when they're not mm. Chicago sports mm-hmm. involved. That's funny. Well, yeah, I, well, not me. I, you know, I can watch all NBA. The NBA, I do not. I don't care about the NBA. I can watch an NBA much. game. Any, any any NBA game, throw it on. Mm-hmm. I'll watch it. I just don't like. The, I don't like the NBA right now because of the the, the super teams. I just don't. I don't have any interest in uh, that. Oh, speaking of, I was uh, first of all, fuck James Harden. By the way, I'm tired of that bullshit. Oh, that, the Rockets are going to be fucked for years because. Of that. Okay, what, is, what is what is the story with him? He just didn't want to be on their team anymore. Yeah, yeah we saw on the team, and he decided yeah. that he went to a strip club, and now he's suspended. Well, he's saying he wasn't a strip club; he just went to a party and took a mask off for a he, second. He, and then, he wants to trade out because they, they, well, he first of all he got rid of their they, their he asked for the coach to be gone. So in the Houston Rockets, their front management has fucked this up. No, that front management left too. He's in Philly now. Yeah, well, but they've they've, they've got what like, Houston he, he wanted Kevin to Cal, him. He wanted Kevin Cal gone, and then they brought in Mike D'Antoni, and then they didn't bring back D'Antoni, but like he wanted James. Well, he wanted D'Antoni gone. No, he that's didn't what want, they said. They yeah, said he, he wanted him gone. Him so, but, so he's just he's but, like, like they, he, he asked for like baby. Russell Westbrook to be brought in, and then Westbrook got sick of his crap and because then, there's yeah. the Harden rules and Westbrook doesn't play that way. Yeah. But whatever, this guy has gotten everything. It just pisses me off. That, like how much ungratitude there is in and in, in some people. Like ask him. This guy said the opportunity of a lifetime. I get it. You know, he it's just different circumstances, but ungrateful, doesn't realize what he has, and now he wants out, and the Rockets will be 
Well, the Rockets, the team. I think you mean. I think you mean. The Rockets will be. Yeah, I think you mean. You said Haskins. I think you. Well, mean. I was talking about Haskins with the Redskins and how he, you know, with strippers, with like he's had the opportunity of the world to be the starting for for the Redskins, and he just keeps fucking up. Well, with Harden, he's a great player, but again. He's got all this opportunity, all this fucking special privilege. Doesn't doesn't respect it. Doesn't care about it. And now he's gonna fuck the Rockets. And then for people to be like, oh, okay, like it just that, that I mean, it's, 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 NBA in general. That's why I don't like it. I think all these guys when they when they get pissy about like being on a team, they they want to trade and they like and they and because the the NBA is so it seems like it's so player centric. These guys all everybody's trading. Butler got to trade. Who else? Uh, the guy in L.A., the, the tall guy. Yeah, the, no, uh, um, for Kawhi the, Leonard got his fucking... Kawhi Leonard got a train. No, the other guy, too. Davis got a train. Yeah, All these guys, if they request it, they get it. Yeah. Like, whatever. These guys sign huge deals. On that's why you can never love a team. Like, that's so the hardest I, part. I have yeah. a question, then. These yeah. guys leave a team. Like, like what's his name right now in the Rockets? Well, if uh, he leaves, they'll, they'll trade... But they, but he, they have to trade him. Yeah, but, and then, but they got to find a partner. But then, yeah. uh, here's what I... Okay, so this is my question. Yeah. Uh, what's the financial ramifications? The NBA goes to another team... They have to continue paying him yeah. out. Or the NBA is weird about the no. way, the NBA is weird. They have match salaries. The NBA. That's yeah, but so he'll go to so say if if they'll what the one trade that is possible maybe possible is uh, he goes to Philly. They trade Ben Simmons to Houston. So that's not so then Houston. So, so does Houston have some point guards with Wall and him. Which is great for them. Yes, <laughs> but it's like trading property as long as they're of like equal value. There's no. This is it's a match. Contracts money. gotta be. Coming, you gotta match yeah. money. Okay. Yeah. Gotta be with it. Like the NBA has some like weird rule where you gotta be like within like some percentage of yeah. it. You can't. That's why like when, like when an NBA team is like like. You're never gonna win with a hard, a go hard, like a hard, um, what are they, like a lunch pail type. Yeah, that's, team. What, that's what the Bulls have been like a lunch. That's what the Bulls got people LeBron James all yes, the time. Oh, yeah. Rose. Like, but that's but people. What, what does that mean? So like, mean? you're coming to you win. Superstars. You have no. You don't really have any superstars. Like the the Denver Nuggets. Like I get the Joker is really good, but th- those guys were none of them have become, like been proven superstars yet. But they were all just hardworking guys come there, work their ass off, and. So they call them lunch pal guys. Like you just fucking take your lunch pal, you're going it's, to work. A great example is the Bulls yeah. of the late 2000, early yeah. 2010s. Dad Bulls team in 2011 may have had a chance, blew all day and didn't get fucking. Well, yeah, I mean, but but, they, they, but, but they, I'm saying, like, what is it like? But say on the on the yeah, but, man, but on the team yeah. you got the only superstar at that point in his career was Derrick Rose. The rest are all really good players. Yeah, well, nobody was a superstar. Who had a bit of revitalization this last season? Yeah, in Detroit. Yeah, he did. Wait, hold on though. I have a question. And this is another question yeah. that I'm not sure is maybe COVID related. I thought the NBA Finals just ended. They did, and yeah, now I'm NBA, seeing yeah, preseason yeah, yeah. well, games. Well, here's the regular, regular season. Started. The regular season started. So just the season. Why? The season got the, the, the because season they want to do their Christmas. They want to do their Christmas games on yeah. Friday. So typically, the NBA season runs from like they, 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 like they used June. to do. They used to do the end of October. Now it's like the middle of October, all the way to June. June. The end of June. But because like, of COVID, no, it got push, 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 push. But now they want to. Oh, so now they're restarting so they, it back. Yeah. Yeah. It's, okay. like same, it's like the same thing with hockey. Money. The yeah. Decline. yeah. Okay. It was the same thing with hockey. Hockey ended like at the end of September ish. And they just decided on. And they season, yeah, right? fifty six game season that was starts this, January thirteenth, ends in like July. But like they're looking at like twenty twenty one. To start their season in October, they usually start. The would, of- would this sort of thing have an effect on the, the top, like two or three NBA finalists, not having a very long yes. recovery yeah, period? Exactly. Oh, yeah. Potentially, but they had a short season, and the, you know, I mean, I think, I mean, the, you the, know what? Joe, that's the, they, they, they were, though. yeah, they were I, short, but, I honestly, that that's something I thought about, but like you're right, like thinking about LeBron. But this year, they like, they yeah. turned off the they turned off. You know, they they it made it to the rule where you couldn't. You couldn't miss yeah, back so to that heard. They turned that off this so year. So they've they they also done. Them? No, they've no, also done a thing fun. where like okay. they, when you're on prime time, players weren't allowed to like be so like sit around. Like, but they changed. But what they game. could do is they could say, "Hey, LeBron, we're not going to play. Like, we're not going to play you like most of the season until we get to the playoffs." And then we'll, so you're fresh. They'll pay enough. They'll pay enough to win to get in the playoffs. Yeah, and that they could do that. But that's only because his team's good enough. Yeah, to get. Her and he's got the support and the the. Well, they'll, they'll, they'll win enough, enough games that they get to the point where they don't have to worry. about Yeah, it. not all teams have that opportunity. Don't, don't be scared now. Don't, yeah, thank don't you be very scared. Much. Don't be scared. So then, so then, okay, Chris McGraw, you need to you need to relax over there with that champagne bottle, knocking it out like a champ. 
Woo! Mr. Robbie Woo! shrieking down that white castle on the block. Give him, give him, no, no. Hey, can I get a 30 pack with uh, no buns, please? No buns. <laughs> okay, so this is sort of, chicken rings without sort bread. of related to sports <laughs> and also you beer. Want, you don't want that. I, uh, I took the lady friend to her parents, uh, so she's going to stay there from today till New Year's. She's got the dog. That's great. All good. On the way back, very similar ride to the to the ride you guys take on a daily basis. Right there, uh, I don't know. Fuck it. On the right next to the Concord Retirement Home, there's a Dwayne Wade poster billboard. Oh, uh, I know what you're talking about. I Bud Light, yes. oh, Bud Light yeah, Zero, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is the new Bud oh, Light beer with yeah, zero alcohol. Pussy. I literally pussy. saw this and I was like, I was like, is this the? I thought this was the seltzer, like no, zero I calorie like that guy's a pussy. kind of thing. But they put the they put Dwayne the zero calories, all right? What? The cells are zero calories. No, no, they're not. But that's what I thought. <laughs> they call Bud Light Zero, and the reason why they call Bud Light Zero is because zero it's zero alcohol. alcohol. That's a huge thing why would you want? Okay, well, like, no, but, like there is a shit. I mean, Gordon's yeah, been around forever. No, no, but this is becoming a big thing because Gordon. people like to taste the beer, but they also don't want. They don't want to go to a party and have to be like, no, do you have like all water? No, they were like, no, I'll just like, and they're like, so people will have now, like Heineken Zero. Joe Rogan loves Heineken Zeros because it Why? tastes. Because I don't like the taste of beer that much. So I would want to drink no alcohol. I, I like the effects, taste, baby. I love the taste of beer. I would see. Yeah. I'm an effects guy. This is how I think about that. food. Okay. This is how I think about beer. This is how and and. Peter, I know Coors Light Zero is coming out. I know if me Coors Light Zero comes out. I'll fucking kick Coors Light in the face. I know me and Coors Light's good by itself. I I am of the mentality, and this is maybe not be a healthy mentality, but if I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna drink to get drunk. Oh, yeah. I don't see the point in having two or three drinks because at that point it's just a high caloric intake of non-essential stuff that's just gonna be, you know, it's not it's yeah. not good for the body. Here, here's yeah, so go. what's the point of zero? No, I, I guess get that, but I guess I'm not here's of the that thing. market. Yeah. Uh, the only way I could see it might work for any of us is we get to a spot because like there's we're coming up on tax season. You go out on a Saturday night, you're having a good time. It's you know midnight. I yeah, assume you're gonna be able to go out in this scenario. I was like, well, yeah, but this is this is this, <laughs> I, this is what he's yeah. saying. This is the ideal scenario where it would apply to us. So, so you get to about midnight. You have you have that nice buzz. You have that that buzz where you can get a little loose, get a little goosey. But you know that you got to get up at 9 o'clock in the morning. And you bust that switch, right? So, the, so you go from full Coors Light to a zero you Coors Light. Like you feel like you're feeling like you, you get what you want, but you're not getting but will it, so you're but will it be But will it be like the subconscious, yes. hey, here's the action. Yeah. Kind of like the Burt Kreischer drinking water yeah. from a can thing. Like, hey, you're just getting the motion down. This is yeah. how I like it. But hey, will it be readily available? It's the vehicle. Maybe, maybe not. Some uh, they are, bars, yeah. uh, Heineken Zeros are at all bars now because it's really? a popular drink. That's right. It is. Oh, I duels! You can pretty much get all duels at any bar. They have to have nine alcoholic never, opportunities. I never saw Rolling Rock on the back corner. You do realize, I you do realize that there's like alcohol still in those nine. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, they, that's yes. Very yeah, minimal, yeah, but, yeah, but like you, like if there, there's a certain point where like if you drink enough, of them, yes, I mean, they yeah, put it's like hundred. So it's so not hundred, but it's like. Half one. So the market for this is you like the taste of beer. Uh -huh. You can you continue like drinking it, it. We won't give you the hangover yeah. though. Yeah. This is basically a, a, a like a, a. I mean, there's a, a walk around version of beer plus. So we're gonna hydrate you, but you yeah. don't have the hangover there's because literally, there's no liquor involved whatsoever. Yeah, there's a crap ton either. of options. Like me and Pierre walked into a Benny's. And there's like a whole entire aisle of fucking nine. I did beer. not know this was a thing. It's, it's, like, a, it's like a diet soda of beer. In no, a lot of ways. Or, or a diet zero, Coke zero of fucking beer, basically. I, I mean, I get what you're saying. Like, because yeah. 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 Coke, you, well, you, don't, you don't have the calories, you don't have the caffeine. Yeah. It's no, you're you're right. weird right. shit. Well, no, you know what it'd be? It'd be diet, caffeine free Coca Cola. I never got the fucking point of that. I, love, okay. I, love, I, love, I always love when you go to McDonald's and there's people eating, like, can I get a. Double quarter pounder, extra large fries. Let me get that Diet Coke, though. Here's, <laughs> here's, 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 here's a question, <laughs> taking it back to the uh, early 90s, maybe late 80s. I can't remember when this came out. 1969. Okay, like so so I, nice. I, am, I am very much, when I'm not eating... I've done that in every podcast, but go ahead. Sorry. When I'm not eating junk food to just eat food, a lot of my food is very utilitarian in approach. Yeah. Like, I it would... It kills me, Joe. It I, fucking kills me, but yeah. On a regular basis, when I'm trying to cut weight or eat healthy, 
It's like rice, broccoli, uh, f- salmon, and I could have that on repeat nonstop. Yeah. Usually, it's it's a it's a an oatmeal for lunch, some sort of uh, fruit in there, like blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, mm-hmm. something to sweeten it up, mm-hmm. and I could just have that nonstop. <clears throat> When it comes to, I completely lost my train of thought on where I was going with this. I'm gonna be honest with you, I was wondering where you're going to. Yeah. It was. It had, something, it had something to do with. Oh, I just I don't get. I want to continue. Like I feel like it's more harm than good at that point. Yes, you're getting no alcohol, but that's the thing you drink beer for. Like yeah. that's why you drink liquor. Here's the thing. Like it's like the like those bars. Like there are bars that are not alcoholic. That are non-alcoholic bars that do like fancy drinks, make you feel special, but you don't want you want you, you socially don't want to drink. Joe's trying to say you play to win the game, baby. Well, this, you play to win the which, game. Yeah, listen, I, or lose I, next morning. I'm not gonna lie. When I, when I okay, <laughs> on a very stupid version of this, you drink beer to get drunk. You drink liquor to feel buzzed to get drunk. You do cocaine to get high. You're not going to snort baby powder because it's the same vehicle of delivery. I, and, and and that's an extreme. That, that is an extreme, extreme example, but I get your point, Joe. But I, I don't know. I just I would think you drink these things because of the effect. I would rather just stop drinking beer than probably You hear about Joe Rogan doing there's, ayahuasca. You do yeah. it for the effect, not because of the... There are some people in a bar who want to go out and be social, and they don't want, like, they're just, they're, like, maybe they can't handle that. Like, so they can't handle having a ton of drinks, but they want to have a drink, they want to be social, they, and you, you can't really tell, like, when you're when you're at a bar, you're not telling You know what you should ask about the topic? Brian Hamilton. Ask Brian Hamilton what he thinks about I don't, and <laughs> the, I don't, the beers and I don't mean this in a bad way. Like, if this is their thing, yeah. This is just like my it's mentality thing, yeah. is like this is how I see it. I don't. Because we have a tendency, we have a tendency as a group to bury people in, 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 in beers. Would would it would it would they rather have a three? You know, to switch over to a beer zero at some point. It's a question. For I mean, I I, would, I I guess I can see the. It'd be, it'd be a question. Not gonna lie, the one time we went to beer zero, me and Peter, I was not a happy camper. Yeah, but that was also that's you like, also. Really ugly. Ugly yeah. strippers in her face. Yeah. That point. That's also okay. you. Yeah, I remember that. That was, yeah, a that was a good night. That was a good night. No, no, no. We, we got kicked out of what we wanted to do. Yeah, we wanted to go to the night. Yeah, we wanted to go to. We, we're, we're at. Well, that bar was probably a place. Shit. That, that whole entire area was kind yeah, of. Just yeah, we we should elaborate on because shadiest. I am not. No, we went. So we went to a very fun bachelor party. It was up in Traverse City, Michigan. So that was Traverse City okay. for a very long time. I am, so so uh, <laughs> we're we're having the buddies bachelor party, having a good time, everything. But we finally convinced them let's go to a bar. Because there's nine dudes in a, a cabin. Mm-hmm. You go to the bar. The bar is, it's, it's, it's good bar. Like, there's a lot of people. But it was a very, gra- all the bars were very aggressive. Yeah. Also, we went to 90% the of the there. people we were with are Asian. Minorities. And, and yeah. this bar is straight Oh, so you're saying like, aggressive white. It's like, okay, okay I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's red that white. Are you yeah. guys, are you guys the only white guys yeah, in the group? Much, yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. So some, some of the gentlemen were getting a little bit more, and they're like, they're just getting a little bit more of a redneck look at them. And it's like, it was it very noticeable like, when you walked in the bar. Yes. It was very yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. So it made sense for them to be like, Hey, fuck this. Let's go to a strip club. Have a good time. Where we were like, well, fuck these guys. We're, we're okay. Just go like, we'll, we'll make sure they're, they're not going to do anything. And there's a bunch of women having a good time. And so they're like, hey, we're going. And we're like, well, this is it. You know, it's not our party. So we went with that. Mm-hmm. And it was fine. But so we just, also didn't have a way back to the – Yeah, to make sure there was no the Uber in Traversity. Yeah. At the time, at least. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, those guys got a shit ton more drunk on the boat that we were – Earlier in the day. Right they, they, they earlier they in the day. Drunk. Then that might have been it too. Yeah, they were really hungover by the by yeah. the time that we were like ready to go. Yeah, <laughs> but they were then, drinking James so at ten in the morning. We went to the strip club. We they, didn't, they didn't serve beer, but they did have old duels. Me and Chris were drinking old yeah. duels, staying away from the uh, local strip late strip club. Nice. 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 Except nice. they got to play the motorboat thanks to Pat Lynch. Best night of my life. Peter was not successful. Let's just go back to something real quick. Talking about food and choices, bad choices. And food and, and, and choices that you um, that you, that you're you're like when you're trying to be healthy, and I let me and Chris live a pretty not like super strict but a, a decently stricter 
like haven't been dying. living it, haven't yeah, been living yeah, it this yeah. month. Especially since in the, the holidays, it makes it so much harder. So I'm, oh, I'm, at, I'm at the office today, and bagels, donuts, pizza, chicken wings, everything that you well, do is okay for you, right? Yeah, but I, I mean, it, it depends, but yeah. it's like, yeah. Generally, yes. It's just, I mean, stacks on stacks. And you know what Peter had today? Fucking nothing. And it kills me because, like, yeah, I get it. I also, I, but then I see the people, then, but I, then I watch people who go to eat, and then I look at them, and, I'm, and they have, like, plates, like, literally plates on plates. And I'm like, okay, like, I really want that, but then I look at what, what it does to you, and I'm like, okay, I'm all right. Worst part is they got clients that are sending you home-baked cookies, mm-hmm. you know. And this is our fault. Not yeah. our fault, but we're getting, getting candy. conscious because we're, we're getting candy. You're getting, like, some guy sent this pop, Garrett's popcorn. Like, and it's like you're uh, uh, hunting it down the freaking thing, and it's like you're telling Sexy Pepsi in the basement, hey, you hide this, and you can't tell me where it's at because if you do, oh, I'm yeah. going to have – I'm going to have like 17 of these cookies and I'm going to have, yeah. I'm just going to eat the popcorn. Yes. And just to go back really quickly, it's just. And it's fuck just, the Ritos for bringing out the goddamn poppables. <laughs> the three oh, the three they're coming back. They're, they're coming back, goddamn it. Well, no, 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 they're not, Chris. They're coming back. I mean, yeah, yeah, we're going on right now. We can't be telling the world that the three Ds are coming back as we fight for them. 2021 is looking up, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I always I always remember because it, it like December was like the start of uh, the stuff for Golden Gloves, and we always used to get these gold or not golden these chocolate hammers. I remember like taking tiny little cuts of that out, like that would be my treat for the day, like a very oh. tiny Hers- Hershey Kiss size level of chocolate, and I would eat that like. And that was from the, the, the your old job, or did you get no, yeah from the no? It was it was like a thing that they they would produce from and then we, oh for going no 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 no, oh, no, no, no from the construction company oh, they, 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 they would they would out like a, a chocolate hammer that they would give out and then we'd always get some back from companies that moved or closed yeah. or whatever so we'd always have them and chop you them need up. like six hammers Pro- probably over the course but I would just take like like a time tiny time? little cut of chocolate and that was my thing but we'd always get tons here's, of cookies. Tons of desserts, oh, tons yeah. of treats. It's like a, hey, we're thinking of you guys. Keep us in your minds. Here's some candy and chocolate and stuff. And it's so hard to avoid it. Here's the issue: is the farther away, you, the less strict you get, the more you're allowed. You're gonna allow yeah. yourself. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So it, it kills me. Like, like I've had a couple Hershey kisses. And this sounds like really, but one Hershey kiss leads to okay, I can have chocolate. Oh yeah. The, so the Hershey at my house got demolished last weekend. So I'm not sure who took those down. Actually, there. I don't think I had any of those. But somebody demolished. I definitely them. had like. You I definitely had a bunch of them. Brian. Brian I think I saw them. Brian need them, and I had like. Katrina, somebody ate all of Katrina's ones that she likes. So I ate all my Hershey's kisses. Which, which all like the hot chocolate ones? Yeah, they're all gone. Oh, all they're all gone. gone. I didn't, I didn't like first, them. I don't like those either. Okay, I don't like those either. I don't like those either. It's only what I, I'm a I'm a very vanilla guy when it comes to my candy and stuff. Oh, like there's nothing the OG butter. flavor. Don't give me that. Yeah, so we don't you don't like any weird candy bar. Like, yeah, no, no, candy no, we have that like an unhuman food. But I do love a good solid just Hershey. Like, yes, the regular ones are very good. Yeah, very 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 delicious. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting till January first. I'm going back on the carnivore diet. Yeah, me too. I know. I'm gonna go back to a month because like so. Wait, how far have you guys diverged from the carnivore diet? Because you were pretty hard on I'm, it. Up I, until I, I'm I would guess just a few months ago, I didn't even know you guys were far off. Of it. We're like, not very far off of it. Like what we still haven't had chips. No. Okay. So, you know, our biggest issue when we when like our 100 percent biggest issue when we were working out, we would work out every day for an hour 15 minutes. That was 35 minutes cardio, mm-hmm. 40 to 45 minutes weights. Mm-hmm. We would fucking come from the gym, go to Jewel. Me and Chris would split a bag of Doritos on the right hose mm-hmm. on the right home. That was twice what we burned at the, at the, at the gym. Mm-hmm. So as soon mm-hmm. as we got on the carnival diet, me and him shedded. He, he All those like shedded. empty carbs are just gone. So we, I've, I've never gone back to chips. Yeah. But we've added potatoes. We've added um, vegetables, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't vegetables. I and, did try the Garrett popcorn that we got from a client, but that's about as – like literally all we've had is like – like I've added back like vegetables. I We, yeah. we started eating potatoes again. Uh, 
But that's pretty much it. Like, I'm not racer fine. No, you're right. Yeah. But so I'm, vegetables are not going to hurt. I've, 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 I've had salads back, which yeah, is like, 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 like yeah, yeah, going yeah, back to bread. My problem is I'm starting to go back to the sweets. My mom's made a bunch of cookies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's where the yeah, fuck Sarah's, up is. Sarah's, on the fucking breaking, holiday thing. Yes, breaking, baking a lot. Yeah. Um, so so I've gone back to sweets a little bit too much, and like I can, I already, I sense it. I know what's happening. Is one like I said, one Hershey equals one candy bar. One candy bar equals king size candy bar equals. I'm hungry. I'm gonna have a yeah, snowflake yeah. turns into an avalanche. I, I'm a hundred percent, and that's so I definitely, yeah, I definitely gotta, felt that. Yeah. You just gotta get back on a strict diet. So by Jan- yes. so what, starting in January with the carnivore diet again, you know, I'll, I'll have that sweet thing knocked out in three weeks. But except for my birthday, where I decide to like choose yeah. whatever I want for my dinner. Yeah, I think that's. And I was I was thinking about <laughs> it. Oreo pie for dinner. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna have an Oreo pie for you. At the start of Corona, I gained weight. Then I was like, all right, I'm too big. Like I'm I'm yeah, you feeling I'm you feeling uncomfortable good, yeah. tying my shoes. I got to get back to it. And then I was thinking about <clears throat> I was teaching boxing at the time, so I was doing the workouts with them because it was outside, yeah. which was nice. So it was exercising every day. And then diet is easily the diet is where it makes a difference. If you can maintain exercising, even when you're eating like shit, though, that's going to help so much. Oh, yeah. Like, as long as you just continue to exercise, because if you stop yeah. and then go back into it, your body hurts. And yes. then you say, I don't want to do it. I need to rest. But legitimately, one of the best things you can do is exercise the next day. Hey, you, you exercise for the first time in months, years, whatever. You're like, Jesus Christ, my body's sore. It's going to hurt. Get up and do something. You don't it, – it almost sounds counterintuitive, but yeah. if you get up, move your body again in some manner, you're going to feel so good. It's going to break up a lot of that lactic acid. Yeah. It's going to break up whatever that does to make your body feel like shit yep. and severely reduce any sort of inflammation because your body Even is moving sucks. again. Yeah. And it really does help a lot. And it's just – It's it's not one or the other. It's, yeah. Me and Chris used to, for 10-plus years – Work out four miles a day running, 40, 35, 45 minute weight training. Mm-hmm. We That was only maintaining our weight. Mm-hmm. You put us on the right diet. Chris has dropped 100 pounds. I've dropped 20 pounds. Um, and it just it stays off. Like, I, I don't I don't fluctuate anymore. I don't do 10 up, 10 down. It's like I'm, I'm very comfortable with where I'm at. And we just, what is it? Um, Boy, say, I'm sorry. One, one, I, it's I not, that, it's not one or the other. It's both. No, it's both. Both are important. You don't have to 100%. be as strict as, you, as me and Chris are with our diets. No. It's just I, I followed a very different diet. Yeah. Mine was a macro. Uh, keto, I think, is macro, one of the better ones. Keep macro out the sugars. Directed. Keep out the processed foods. Keep out the breads. And you, I think you honestly will you will see results. Yeah, that's how I that's how I went. Yeah. I did macros and I tried to keep my stuff non like unprocessed. You know, I mean, like I didn't do the four miles with Peter like. He said, but like Peter would do like three or four miles. I do about like two, two and a half. But like, I mean, just shut off the weight. Uh, but also, if you're sore the next day, don't work out with Peter McGraw because you'll be sore for the next <laughs> four, four years of your life. Here, but that's just a joke, by the way. But yeah. and, and I fucking hate working out with Peter. But McGraw. also, it takes time to. Build. But that is a huge thing, though, is having someone else to do. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it's a huge thing. Oh no, yeah, no, a hundred percent. So if you can find a buddy or a friend, that's gonna help. Yeah. Here's the thing: is 30 days builds a habit. And once you do it, something for 30 days, mm-hmm. it's hard not to do it because your body is like, oh, I got to do this. So for me working out, if I don't work out one day or like if I don't set it up, like my plan it out to be, okay, this is my day off. If I was supposed to work out and I don't work out, it bugs the shit out of me. Yeah. It took me five years to get there now. But it will, <laughs> dickhead over here fucking but it will, it will, like, no, but, and like, you can, you can complain so much. Five years, uh, five years. Yeah. Close, 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 close. Fuck Peter McGraw, that jack. No, and I bet you 30 days after Chris, like, he might not have liked doing some Nah, things. I would have quit after 30 days. <clears throat> he cold, not even cold turkey. Would have quit right then and there. Now I had to do cold turkey. Uh, I don't, I don't you know. Got to, sure. I, you gotta bust Peter's balls every once in a while. Listen, we're all, I, I, and, oh, I just, I honestly, I've been working out since I was 18 or 17 years old. Mm-hmm. I love it. Like, mm-hmm. I don't think of a day, like, it's not like a chore for me. It's like, when do I get to work out? And I love it even more than Oh, it's still a chore for me, but I can't, like, not go without a day now. I, I never, um, thought about it. I mean, cause I always did, like, boxing and, like, group classes. Uh, and now that I live in an apartment, I miss like having a punchy bag and just being able to hit. You know, like that's good. Though. The yeah, choice yeah. of like exercise yeah. with COVID has 
in some cases reduced some stuff for some people. And, and my my method of doing it is like I I don't have that opportunity as much anymore, and I yeah. miss it a lot. And you it, 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 it and opened my mind up though. What's that? The COVID way of working out opened my mind up. I was so. So oh, I definitely changed it. Yeah, minded like yeah. I love more than anything is when I when me and Chris are doing kettlebell hit workouts. I've gotten so <laughs> I've gotten so into jump roping. Yeah, there's so um, much you can do. That that's been my thing in a lot of like body weight stuff. But I I'm looking forward to when like that stuff is more open again and and doing that. My favorite thing doing is, other uh, things. And you, got, you were doing it for a long time. Me and Pierre only did it during, started doing it during COVID is just running around the neighborhood. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. so much yeah. better than running on a treadmill. Oh, oh I hate uh, running on a treadmill. I, I, I can't really do it. I really can't do I it. I love running around like different areas and just be, yeah. cause like, you're just not focused on anything. Like, you're if not you just give, TV, if you just know? give like a general point, you're like, if I get to this point, I run this number of miles, that's my goal, or I gotta get here and then I gotta get back. You just you can run around the neighborhood, meander through blocks. Like yeah. it's so much better seeing yourself getting past something than sitting in front of a screen. That's my biggest issue with rowing. Is I love doing it, but I hate being stationary. So I always got to throw on like a laptop and listen yeah, to something yeah, yeah, yeah. or even I'm, a I'm video of something. I'm literally running through HBO. Oh, is that what you, is that what you watch on your? Hell oh, yeah. Oh, I dude, I'm watching it. fucking um. I watched uh, Boardwalk Empire. I watched The Wire. I'm watching um, the, what's the fucking word I'm just talking? About? The South Dakota. Uh, oh, Fargo. No, no, no. The oh. the, 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 oh, the one I was telling you about. Uh, fuck, I can't remember the name. The South Dakota. Three. Oh, it's, 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 it's a gold rush one. Oh, Deadwood. Deadwood. Yes. Oh, oh okay. Skin is so good, Pat. Woo! I can't. But uh, have you watched the the farm one, the farmhouse one that I sent you. The one. Oh, yeah, no. oh yeah. I saw the text you, message for that. Yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I, I got to the point. What is that called? It's like the Happy Hill murder or yeah, something? I'll send, I'll send, I'll send yeah, I'll send it. I didn't realize it was a, uh, a series like that. It was a documentary. Okay, here's a separate it thing. It is a documentary. But look, it's like, it's loosely based off like yeah. blah, blah, blah. But it's yeah. actors and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I thought you guys would like this because you guys liked the, the movie of that fella who found the bomb and then everybody thought it was him Joel? faking it. Yeah. Richard Joel? So there's, 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 uh, yeah, that's what's uh, yeah. uh, It's called one. Manhunter or Deadly Joel? Manhunter. you got to watch Richard But this, this, this is like a movie. documentary style thing <laughs> acted out by actors, but okay. they follow this stuff. A, my understanding is they follow it a little bit more and... um. It would just—I just thought it'd be very interesting. It's, it's, like, a man, it's like a man. It's like a manhunter's manhunter something. something. Like What's this now? Wait, what? This is on Netflix. It's so it's like Richard What's Jules it about though? Richard Jewell. So each oh. each season is its own crime. This I think this newest one is on Richard Jewell. Well, it's on the Atlanta bombing, not the Richard Jewell. Yes, but so he's Ooh, of course part of it. Because I love yeah, yeah, man, man hunter, dude. I am spreading my hunter out because it literally makes me sad to think about my hunter is going to be over soon. That's been a huge thing for me is I've started watching a lot more TV during COVID and the stuff that gets canceled or oh, just stops being produced like and you're Pete. like, oh my oh. God, oh dude, oh, I love Sneaky Pete when it was on TV and then to hear it got canceled and uh, it's comes so out of sad. With these companies like it's always- well, no, not even that anymore. No, it was Netflix, too much. Yeah, Netflix. For Netflix, was- they, their, their model is almost, but hey, we're going to produce this big show, get a bunch of new subscribers. And, and then, then yeah, this thing is, costs so much. Bye-bye. But, uh, but, uh, but this the thing news are not a will, new play. thing. But the new, yeah. they, they did how many seasons mm-hmm. of the the House of Cards with Kevin Spacey? They, they would have kept. They probably gone on a few more if he if he didn't. Well, well that's, that's, that's what, the yeah. two seasons of uh, Arrested Development, and then why well, they might do more in the future? Knows the, 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 those, those, those they, the way they ended on the last they're one, they're all expensive though. They'll rescue the same way. The same way. Ozarks picked up too. They're they're gonna close down. Oh, that'd be great. Ozarks closing out next to anything too. Like yeah. But also, also, I'm a big, I'm a big believer of. I haven't series. watched Ozarks though. It was just it's it's too intense. I'm a big, I'm a big, I'm a big believer in general series that like they like they can run very long. Like you need to cut a series off when it's too good. Like I know it's I know it's hard to like cut them off like when they're really good, but. You cut off that as I'm okay with going to the fucking end to where I'm like, I fucking hate it. I'd rather I hate it than be like, fuck, it, why is it over? I'd rather, I'd rather cut it off early, personally. I'd no, really I'd rather you. I'd rather fucking hate it. Did you know if they fucking, they fucking did, run did you Archer it? until it's yeah. done shit? Yeah, yeah. exactly. I'd Dexter is a series that should have been cut off sooner. Wait, which one? The Dexter is a season. It was very good, and it got 
After like season yeah, four or five, okay, you got an extra season to say, okay, that kind of You got like five. Then you, you were done. You got three seasons. Would you rather really be like, I and now you're getting a movie? Yeah. Hey, um, you like is that, that fucking new, the Dixon? Oh, yeah, I bought a the Dyson? So, dude, okay. Dixon. Okay. Jesus. Here's, here's, here's the Dylan Dixon here. Here's the thing. I've, I've realized I love to, uh, take some vitamins and just clean. V- vitamins or? Uh, no, cocaine? not vitamins. Like, like, edibles and, and just clean my apartment. Like, that's what I love to do. And now the dog left. So I literally today vacuumed everything, dusted everything, windexed everything. Hey, John, I'm going to speak for all of us. If you feel bored with that and you're, you don't have enough space to do that, feel free to go to where all else is and, and just go nuts, baby. All I kept go thinking nuts. about is as I was cleaning this, I was like, oh, man, this is – I know I'm going to mention this to the guys and someone's going to say, hey, we got properties you want to clean – I love to clean. So, wait, wait, I really wait. so like that right there is an attachment. So Joe, are you that's the like Reno's cleaning company. In that's your spare time. Like I that. did. I did help them. Uh, they're so good. I love to clean guys. I bought so a good. Dyson because mainly because my need dog a, a, a PSA for no drugs needed. Uh, Joe just gave it to me. <laughs> guys, do drugs. You're gonna want to clean your house. Uh, I know, it's but I like Somewhere along with like Peter, this is what you gotta do, baby. Yeah, here's here's, here's right what now. I've looked forward to in the last like, just couple of weeks. For me. I was like, when, Dyson? when he's like, well, I get, I get really, really high. I get well, really thing. vitamined up. And I, I here's the thing. Well, we'll go back to the workout thing where I have the Hulk Hogan and I'm a real American all the time when I'm running. Here's <laughs> just, here's ribs just ah! They're just. I have, a, I have a dog that's growing, and it is a change of season, and it's a puppy blowing out its puppy fur. So it was just like fur everywhere. So you just like took the and vacuum and went to town. Dude, that, <laughs> entire, that entire bucket got, was filled with dog hair. Filled with dog hair. Fascinating joke. It does look very clean here, so I'll give you that. It does, it's very clean. Well. You know what's funny? I was thinking to Pete, and I was thinking, damn, this bedroom is so clean. I know, now you know, know all over the walls. It was, it you was, know, dirty a little bit, baby. It was not up until <laughs> this yeah, morning. I threw it all over the place. It didn't feel real. Sprinkle it. Sprinkle it in. Sprinkle it in. This is with the crowd, baby. Listen, out here, dog hair. In there, my hair. <laughs> I get it. I feel you. I feel you. Oh, Good boys. Boy. Wow. Well, hey. It feels like a, a, a. That's a perfect spot to end this podcast, I think. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Ass hair all there, over Joe's there, all there, over Joe's bathroom. That really killed it. No, no, it didn't. That, <laughs> no. Hey, but also, hey, hey, fuck you both for not asking what me and Chris are doing on Christmas Eve or Christmas. We both hey, you, you in the last pocket. You said what you guys do. You said you go out midnight mass. You guys do the next day, eat. and the next day you hold the and hang out with your family. Oh, I always said that earlier. Yeah, unprovoked. And in the last podcast, too. you know what kind of sucks. Um, actually, I really kind of sucks. That. But just looking at Joe, like just. I, Saying everything in Joe's apartment right now, but um, I was I like where I work today. They had this huge Christmas party, and I of course I wasn't invited because I'm just the outside guy. But uh, there I overheard one of the ladies talking about her husband, and he's makeshifts. Anytime he go, he's been golfing the whole all year. You should go up on the catwalk at your office to listen in on this. No, no, this is at the other side. <laughs> Uh, um, and also, oh, if I asked to invite you to your no, then what a bunch of assholes! But so they, so they, well, they should cut me off like sometimes. I love you. Um, <laughs> there's some serious. I'm trying to talk about you. Loving you you have a catwalk where you can eavesdrop into whatever conversation. You well, want this to was on. not the location and, yeah, where he had the catwalk. Yeah, has that too. So, so, so Peter, if, awesome, if you would, like, on us, if you would regale us with your story. So this, the, the the wife. I thought this would work for us because maybe we could do this. We want to golf. At some point in the winter. Well, let's hear it. He, well, the golf side is also on the he, same side of you. And he he has, has been on the golf side. Shut the no story. He has bought a cover that is transportable. So whenever he goes to a golf um, course, he puts it on the golf cart. And he has a makeshift heater where he literally gets out, hits his golf ball, gets back in. It's heated. It's wonderful. He is golf. All year round with this, he's golfed. He golfed yesterday. So is this is this an attachment to the golf cart? Like yeah, you, you can rent the golf cart. Yes. Alternatively, and you, and you I feel like this. And you, you put, put this in. on the. Him okay. and his buddy have golfed every single, pretty much every single day. Did you catch any of it? 
Yeah, I'm sure you're fucking useless. 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 i am sure you are fucking useless 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 i am sure you are Fucking this place up, and wow, at some point we're fake news again. Don't listen. At to some it. point we're gonna have to move. <laughs> we all have to move. We're not gonna be around. We need people. We're going to Mars, baby. Nobody here is gonna have to worry about that. It's just we're yeah, we do what we did by the time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we fuck them. Oh, yeah. Hey, we're gonna start doing the baby version of us. Fuck them. Next I generation, did, problem, see, baby. I did see an article about the um. That is the kind of problem with the, with this. Well, I'm sorry, with the stimulus. Yeah, fuck, it's our it's problem. A, it's going to be our problem. It's going to be our problem. Yeah, sure. Sure. It's really scary. If we keep printing this money, it's, it's not going to be our but yeah. problem. I, uh, in regards to Chicago, last year was, it was a hot video. I think it even made like the top of Reddit of uh, Chicago beaches and the receding shoreline. Uh, every year, though. Well, no, 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 but I noticed no, that. No, but it's, it's not the actual, not the beaches in Chicago. It's the lake shores. Around like yeah. Michigan, yeah. yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, and and this year is different for some particular. You know, reason. Don't I didn't. Every I didn't. Year to, to reclaim the beach in Chicago, right? Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. The, the, the dog beach on Lakeshore Drive. All the all the beaches. Oh yeah. They got to reclaim the beaches. That, the, so the water levels were so much higher this year. Yeah. It took out the the dog beach on Lakeshore Drive. Like, yep. It was yeah. And they put a shit ton of sand to reclaim the. No, they had. Well, they, well, they, they, they usually do it for that. Yeah. Year. They couldn't do it because they didn't want it. They didn't actually want it in anyway, well, three people to come. Mm-hmm. But yeah. But you were saying yeah, the Lakeshore this year was a little different. Yeah. So it, it was it was it was the exact opposite. It the 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 lake was getting. It was like one of those situations where you're just getting farther and farther out in the beach, and this year it just completely. Exactly, just that. Just took it all the way in. Yeah, ended up destroying the Be- beaches because they didn't put any sand down. They didn't care if it's COVID. But here's the other thing: if 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 you don't, I mean, believe, that's one of the things. If yeah. you don't believe humans are doing something to the climate, this year with nobody doing nothing, um, what was it? The, uh, I think it's the hut. Okay, I could be wrong, but I think the Hudson River was clear for the first time in hot, like years. They you could actually see through the Hudson River. Um, the in Italy. Yes. The uh, the canals, they had wildlife going through them for the first time in decades. And, Dude, and did you still listen to like, criminal law? Oh, one second. The ever or not ever, I think it was Everest, maybe the Himalayas, that the snow there, like, it was white. It wasn't smut. Like, it wasn't Yeah, dark. you definitely, you definitely, but, you can so easily, you can tell, tell, easily tell. Do you still listen to, like, you still yeah. listen to cri
Although traffic has been super high in Chicago, just driving around again, like recently, just, yes, just going because mine hasn't been miserable, but I get what you're saying. Downtown, I'm going downtown towards the city, and, back forth, yeah. so and I'm only going as far as Lakeview to yeah. drop off Sarah. But it's like, oh, this is where it starts getting packed again. You see, you see the parking lot that becomes the 90, you know, yeah. from basically like North Avenue on to yeah. through Roosevelt and all that. Yeah. 100%. It sucks. Uh, it, it, that's one of the great things about COVID right now is driving anywhere has been so much better. It's been so much. I think about it every morning. Like, I used to get downtown in ten minutes. When hard, hard I, COVID, ten minutes. I my can't house imagine downtown. trying to look for a place right now or through whenever this vaccine is all done. Trying to find a place, and then you just realize, oh shit, I didn't think about traffic. Yeah. And oh, yeah. how far? You know, like, well, think about it. Like, think about all those people who. Got out of college, got a job downtown, and like our buddy Brian, who's got that beautiful space. Oh there. my god! And he's not going to use it. No, all. he he lives in, he lives in an, an apartment complex whose amenities alone add mm-hmm. yeah well, lots of money to the rent. And, and, yeah, and he's got he's got a gym he can't use. He's got they have personal offices like in the building in a personal area, a printer that you can use, several pools, a jacuzzi, and it's like. He can't use any of it. Yeah. Any of these amenities. Bonus rate hasn't gone down at all. No. <laughs> no. Which is, yeah. I mean, but they can't even afford that because you're still paying all those huge taxes. Doesn't matter. Taxes you can't or, them anyway. Yep. Yeah. It doesn't matter. That's the other thing. That's another thing. Rent, baby. Yeah. That's hard. Oh. That's hard. That's hard. Don't. No. Can, 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 can Did that get? No. It got, it got extended. Yeah. It got it's going to get extended. You know, the worst part of that. But, well. In the Rob, COVID bill, if they pass it, it'll yeah, get the extended. One, the one, you know, the one of the biggest kick in the balls is they didn't uh, the extend. Oh, no, no extension on the student loans? They didn't extend the, the uh, pause on student interest. Um, they, yeah. They just, they stopped, they stopped the uh, student loan interest, like, for up till to now. Uh, and we were hoping... That they would, you know, like yeah. I think that well, would help. Bills not passed. Maybe you're lucky. Maybe. It's true. Maybe, maybe the Bert, maybe the Sanders will get up there and be like, "Motherfucking people, got need some loan rebate." Well, but honestly, like, okay, so six hundred bucks for people who are really struggling—that's nice. But if you think about all these kids who are out of college who could use some more time to, to pay the student loan, <clears throat> you think that them pausing oh, that would the, make sense? The, the relief or lack thereof. For any, I mean, six hundred. I I've been seeing the six hundred dollar check, uh, surmised to the 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 check that they got in a Christmas story. Yeah, and he's like, "Oh my gosh, this is oh okay, cool." I've been seeing memes of people saying, "You know that little pocket on your jeans? That's that's what your six hundred dollar check is gonna hold, like that tiny pocket." Because it's it's yeah. such a slap in the face of just people who really need it. I think the problem is the problem is is give, you're giving it to people. Who, like you're giving it to a lot of people who do have jobs. Like they should, if they want it. Like I would, I would totally people. Feel yeah, like, I think. Yeah, the people who are unemployed, who have been unfortunately unemployed, or have been lost their jobs. I've been in a good place. Like I don't need it. It's not yes. going to do anything for me. And, yeah. and it could be going to but other like, people. Here's the problem. I don't think better. I, and the, the scary part is, I don't think people understand. Like when we actually have to pay all this money back, like the tax raises and stuff. That's oh me. yeah yeah. Because at some point we all we have to pay this back or. Or they're just going to yeah. raise the debt ceiling again. And yeah, yeah at some point, we're, yeah, we're a couple trillion dollars. It's no big deal. No big deal. Yeah. Um, I'll fuck it. Listen, this year has been one wild ass. Ride. It's been the best. It. You know what though? Like it is. It has been good for certain things. I won't. I won't deny that. Like. I've I've definitely grown as a person. I feel like. I've personally grown been as a person. very very introspective yeah. and learned a lot about myself in this whole thing that I would not have learned otherwise. No, and I think I I truly agree with that. I think that um, and it I think I think it just makes you think like, hey, none of us would have thought about this. Um, mm-hmm. and I think everybody should really think about that. As we, you know, we get to a Christmas and, and listen, if you're spending there with people, enjoy it um, and be safe. And I think this is a great spot to end this. And uh, honestly, just think about like when you're spending Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and the weekend. Uh, if you're spending with family, be smart, be safe. These are This is the time that uh, shit's going to pop. And I think also if. You're not thinking about that new England, that New England strain. 
Uh, I've I read a little bit about it, and they don't know anything about it. So well, who, and by the who did England, come out? The New England strain here is talking about he needs the country, country of England. Yes, not a section of the United States yeah. called New England. And and the who did come out and say that the vaccine that they produced does help against that. So in some like, sense, what was that then? Because what this, I've read, they literally this, came this, out like just yes, yes. Like late yesterday, early yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, okay. So, okay. Well, hey, listen. I think the United States is still looking at that to to, to make, well, listen. Wait, just this is be smart, safe, and and as what we've always said, just wash your hands. If you can be careful, um, I think it's a great great time to say, hey, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy All Holidays, even if whatever you're, you're, you're celebrating. Feliz Navidad. Stay new to your pets. Merry Christmas if you have the animals. Bye!